Hey you guys, Damon D'Amico here at D'Amico Dance Company in Houston, Texas. This is Winnie. She's going to be helping me out with the uh, breakdown of our Advanced West Coast Swing class on March, what is it, 16th, 17th, 17th. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. So green tomorrow. Green tomorrow, people. Okay. Um, so what we decided to do is a variation off of the Sugar Push. This actually came from Ben Morris and Melissa Roots, two of my favorite dancers. And all you ladies out there, I would just tell you to study Melissa Roots. I think she is one of the all-time best female West Coast Swing dancers and so classy and athletic at the same time. And I just love you, Melissa. Okay, so uh, anyway, so, and she knows that. <laughs> so uh, here's what they ended up doing. I'll show you the whole thing from the top. It looked like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and out. So you notice that um, I didn't do a whole lot of footwork there at the end. That's because when it looked so good that I just stood there and watched her. I'm going to do that all the way through from the top again uh, before we break it down. So it goes five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and as she goes away, I collect my feet, and I'm ready to bring her down the slot for the next pattern. So here's what's up. Um, we are not matching, and that's the reason why I counted straight time in the beginning. Uh, so now I'd like to go back through and give the guys counts, and then also talk about the ladies counts because they're mildly different. So the guys started off with a hitch. So I'll do the guys footwork first. So he finished up from the previous pattern. He does a hitch on the one. So the guys go one and two. He does a heel point on three, and he crosses over and four. Then he kicks a little bit of a field goal right here on five. He goes five, crosses over, and six. I added on to the, uh, a little bit of what he did here just to make it more practical and make it work. And then from here, he does a hitch on seven, changes hands, and eight. She decided to turn around and do an extra count there. That's really pretty much the end of his footwork while she does her walk around on one, two, she crosses over on three, four. She turns either quickly or slowly. In our case, we did that slow. She did a six. She moved away on the seven and eight. As she was moving away, I collected my feet and prepared to move her down the slot. Now, the girl's timing on this is a little different. So she ends up doing a one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and, and then the easiest way for you ladies to do this, and again, Melissa is an alien from the planet dance, okay? She knows the music very well. She's a pro dancer. She plans to hit it. So Ben leads this like a three beat hit. Let's do the normal one. Normally the guys would go like this and just do this and your legs would stop and you would prepare your right foot the way Winnie just did right there. And then usually this would end up doing something here in the middle and the guy would end up working down and working away. Melissa chose at this time um, to address the one by walking on the one. So instead of her thinking, oh, I'm going to freeze and hit the one, she heard something in the, in the music that made her want to go, oh, I want to move on one, two, and she does this kind of a slow walk using her toes, kind of cool. So she did more of a triple rhythm at the beginning of this instead of a normal walk. So she ended up going seven, eight, and. I'm telling you that it'd be easier if you ladies wanted to do this variation if you thought about coming out doing a triple. So if you ladies think seven and eight, seven and eight. It gives you a whole beat of music here so that you can actually start walking slowly, not facing the dude, which makes him pay attention. He thought you were gonna stop here. You did a triple instead. From here, she does a one, two. Crosses hard across herself there. You can see that her leg is straight, so across herself there. Ladies, I would suggest that you leave your right foot, the entire right foot on the ground as you unwind. And as you unwind, leaving it on the ground, you'll find that you're going to end up with your weight on your right foot. Again, we did this slowly on purpose, and then she goes away here for a triple step. You ladies could also choose to do a chasse away if you wanted to do that, uh, but she ended up doing more of a lock away, which is cool. If there was something there in the music that you wanted to hit, you could always leave on the five and six instead of waiting and doing this slowly three, four, five, six, and going away on seven and eight. You could have crossed over and gone three, turned quickly four and go away five and six and done a faster version of that. So the lady's timing again goes like this. She goes one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, and eight, walking one, 
two crossover hard, three, four, five, six away, seven and eight and out. And then I'm gonna do that one more time from the other side and I'll go ahead and do the guy's footwork with or count, okay? So it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And down the slot, free spin and whatever. Thank you very much, Winnie, appreciate that. Thank y'all for watching, give us a thumbs up.